before we start today's episode, I'd like to talk about electric sound generation modules. So I don't know if you're aware, from the 1st of July 2019, it's actually law that specific electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles must have a sound generation unit that when they're traveling in reverse or doing very low speeds under, I believe, 12 miles per hour, they must generate some kind of simulated engine noise or some kind of noise to make you aware of their presence. As we know, electric vehicles can be very quiet. Whether or not this law and regulation is going to kind of overlap onto e-bikes, I don't know. It's of very little interest to me. But what I do know is that it probably inspired whoever designed this bit of kit we're looking at today, which is the universal e-bike sound generator. Can you believe today is the day we get to look at one of these? So what is an electric sound generator? We're going to mess about with this today and test this out. So what we've got here, we've got the throttle from the electric go-kart. If you remember that, it's your average foot throttle, but we've got three wires coming out of it instead of, I don't know what ever a normal foot throttle has, probably three wires coming out of it. So we're gonna wire that up to this, simulate some engine sounds and see what kind of features this box has. I mean, if any of you are interested in this, that would shock me more than the fact that this item even exists. I purchased this for the pure comedic value and to kind of give you an idea of my, to give you an idea of my level of, uh, to give you an idea of my level of sensibility with this purchase, I also bought this hat, the Raiden God of Lightning hat to, to kind of go with this purchase. So. Yeah, I'm wearing this hat to kind of show you this is half serious, and if you haven't clocked that, then the hat's like an indicator of my seriousness towards this item. So we're going to check it out anyway. Uh, I'm going to do my best to give it a fair and thorough evaluation. What comes in the box is this. It also comes with a fancy push button, which we're going to find in a sec, and we're going to do some pushing on, and we're going to plug this in. So let's, we're going to cut some shots of this, and then we're going to take it over to the test bench and test it out. So just to explain what's going on here, so the sound generator requires 12 volts. So we've got a 12 volt converter here plugged into an e-bike battery, which is off camera. On the power supply, we've set that to five volts. That five volts is supplying the throttle. Now, usually, if this was plugged into an e-bike or similar, you'd already have five volts going to your throttle, in which case you just patch in to the signal wire, the third wire on the throttle, and get the data back or get the information back that the sound generator requires to modulate the sounds on. So without any further messing around, let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. <laughs> no, that is cool. Not gonna lie, it does sound a lot like a moped. Wait, let's just so pressing the button modulates the volume. So let's just turn the volume down while I'm narrating. So Yeah, this sounds very much like a moped, this one. Very much like a moped. Let's hold the button down now and change sound effect. Turn the volume back up. This one's more like your super bike -y kind of sports bike. sound 
Another, another sports bikey one, I think. Wait. Doesn't seem to rev as high as I'd like. That's my first observation. I think there's a calibration to calibrate in your max throttle voltage. We're not going to do that now, but I think you can probably adjust that so it does rev a bit higher. <laughs> that's funny. I like that. I like that. This is funny, this is actually funny. Just when you got the feeling that you may have seen it all, they come along with an electric bike sound generator. Now, isn't that absolutely crazy? I have nothing more to say on that matter. We're going to stick that in a drawer and try and never think about that again. If you guys want to see us fit this to a project, put a lightning bolt in the comment. If we see enough lightning bolts, it might inspire me to stick it in something and we do a few funny videos messing around with a two-stroke electric bike. So I thank you very much for watching, to all the old subscribers, to all the new subscribers, and to all of you who are too tight to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Killer Vault Bikes.